hello guys today i will be showing you how to install python in your machine correct way now i see there's few people uh, they install python but they run into some issues like uh, python when they try to run python command it says python is not installed in your machine or they run into other issues while installing these packages using the pip install so i'm today going to show you how to install python and pip module first open your browser i'm using google chrome but you can use any other browser and go to python.org now always make sure when you download a software or any program download it from the official source and python.org is the main platform where the allow you to download the official version of python so always make sure that you download software version from this website only after you go in here click on the download button and this will give you an option to download python right away from here now there are few people who are actually using the older version of window and those people will not be able to install this latest version of python especially the people who are still using windows 7 or any other older version of windows for them you can go to this click on this windows option if you are on any other os you can you can follow the same instruction click on this windows uh, i'm on windows platform so i'm gonna show you how it can be done in windows uh, in here you will find the instruction or in here you will find an older version of python in here so uh, here it says that python 3.8.7 cannot be used with window xp earlier so if you are above window xp you can directly download the python version from here for python 3.9.1 it says it cannot be used on windows 7 or earlier so if you are on windows 7 don't download the win 3.9 uh, go for other version the the latest one is i think 3.8.7 so go with this one and you can download based on your machine you can either download the window installer 32-bit version or the window installer with 64-bit version now most of the machine come with 64 version 64 bit so you should you should good with this download if, if uh, i have a latest version of windows so i'll go with python 3.9.1 in here it says it giving me an option that latest python version release uh, so i'll click here and now i am in this uh, release note if you scroll down all the way to the bottom it will give you an option for window installer 62 bit so click on this and it will download python 3.9.1 in your local machine now for windows most of the time all the downloaded content go to the download folder so uh, i'll open the window explorer and we'll go to the download folder here you can see the the python 3.9.1 file uh, double click on this and this will open python launcher now a very important thing very important change we need to make here um, some people complain that after installing python they when they try to run a command in command prompt or terminal they get the error that python is not recognized as internal or external argument there are few people also complain that they receive uh, they receive the same issue with the pip command so when they try to run pip install a command it will say pip recognized as internal or external argument. To fix this issue, we have to make two very important changes. First, click on this add python 3.9 to path. This will include python in your environments variable and ensure when you run python command in your command prompt or terminal, it will not throw that error that says python is not recognized as internal or external argument. Second, click on this customize installation. In here, make sure this pip checkbox is selected if it is not already selected. The other uh, checkboxes are optional. So 
it's up to you you can keep it selected or uh, unselected but i would say if you are not sure what you're doing just keep it uh, how it is except make sure the pip is always selected after you complete this two step uh, click on the next uh, it will ask you you know all the if you want to modify the installation path and everything don't make any change in here directly click on install and this will start the installation process and after installation is complete you will see this last window where it says setup was successful and you can now click on this close button or cancel it from here to close this window i'll click on close now to check if python is successfully installed in your computer you can go to either terminal or command prompt i'm on windows so i'll open the command prompt in here and type python dash dash version and hit and enter if this command shows and python version that means the installation was successful and everything is ready to use so you can now start writing python program and run it in your machine but if you see an issue in here if you see some issues like python is not recognized try with another command pi dash dash version and this issue has been noted by few people uh, that python dash dash version is command is not recognized so I'll recommend them to try with the Pi test version and this will hopefully work. I hope this will help you and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do like.